Hello, I am Pedro Morales and this is Not Some Math. Welcome to my podcast. In this occasion, I want to talk to you about the fundamental theorem of calculus. Sounds important, right? Everything that has the words fundamental and theorem usually are important. This is one of the first results that is thought in integral calculus, but its essence is rather simple to grasp. The key even lies in the language. This result relates two fundamental concepts in calculus, to integrate and to differentiate. To integrate or to make something integral means to make it whole, to bring things together. To differentiate is to separate, to find the difference, to pull apart. These names perfectly reflect the spirit of the mathematical operations and can lead us to the understanding and formulation of this fundamental theorem of calculus. Just from the terminology, we can deduce that integrals and derivatives are opposites. To integrate is to bring together. To differentiate is to pull apart. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that if I pull apart something and then bring it together, I'll be back to the place where I started. Pretty deep, right? Put it in mathematical terms, we would say that the derivative of an integral gives back the original function. It is interesting because both terms, derivatives and integrals, were not actually the first choice when calculus was developed. On one side, Leibniz, a German mathematician, called summations what nowadays we call integrals. It was Bernoulli who suggested the use of the term integrals and adopted the notion of bring things together. On the other side, Newton, the famous English physicist, called derivative fluxes what we nowadays call derivatives. He used the term in the sense that these objects were obtained from the fluxes and hence been derived from them. But it was when the theory became formalized that the notion of derivatives or small differences or differentials were introduced, hence leading to the modern terminology of differentiate. Integrals represent global quantities, while derivatives represent local quantities, hence it is not surprising for them to be opposite, and the fundamental theorem of calculus just states this fact. Sometimes understanding the terminology can help us to understand the underlying concepts, and here we have a perfect example of this. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, thanks for listening, and stay tuned for more interesting ideas in an not-so-math way. Until the next time.